This is a short demo on the Performance Tuner in Oracle Glass Swiss Server 3.1. Um, the Performance Tuner is a tool that you can use to optimize configuration for a Glassfish server uh, the DAS um, cluster or a standalone instance and you use this to op increase the performance and typically we see gains of uh, performance gains of over 300 percent so it's a very handy tool to have so here you can see that I've got the admin console already up and running and um, I've already created a cluster that's also up and running and I'll show you how to you can use the performance tuner to to tune that cluster for performance. Um, so you just click on the performance tuner and this will bring up the first page of the performance tuner and just select the configuration that you want to tune and in this case I'll, I'll select the cluster. And the first page is a series of questions about the system setup that you have and the deployed application um, on that cluster. So the first question is um, how many CPUs you want to have dedicated to that server instances in the cluster. So if you have a T-series um, machine for these and it has 16 cores on it, you could use all 16 cores or something less than that. And the next question is um, uh, how much heat memory you have available for the JVM in which the server instance is running on. So you can put here 3,000 megabytes. And uh, depending on the application that you have, whether it's uh, spending a lot of time in the database tier or not a lot of time in the database tier, you can select the appropriate uh, time here. So that would be either low, medium, or high. And then here you select the garbage collection strategy that you have, either maximum peak throughput or a low GC pause. The security manager and the access logger are already disabled by default in Glassfish. That's why these checkboxes are grayed out. If you want to enable them, you can do that in the uh, configuration um, settings here and it tells you how to do that in the inline help here. So, uh, The last question is, um, well if you're running on a T-series server you can go ahead and check this box. This will also help your performance. And just go ahead and click on the next button and this will bring up uh, the second page, which, which is a, a table that lists all the elements that are proposed to be changed um, based on the input that you put in the previous step. So um, in this first row here, we can see that um, there's a change to the maximum connections attribute of an HTTP element and from 256 to 10,000. And then this last column here, um, it tells you how to manually make these changes. So if we don't want to have the performance tuner apply all these changes for us, we could selectively pick uh, the changes that we want and then make those changes ourselves manually. So this tells you exactly how to do that um, either in, through the admin console or with the asadmin set command. So the second one is also uh, a maximum connections attribute change. Um, so one of these is for the HTTP listener 1 and the, the other is for HTTP listener 2. And here we can see um, garbage collection algorithms being added for the JVM option. Uh, some more JVM options being added. The, uh, the heap size here we can see um, is being changed. So uh, what's happening here is it's adding a, a system property here. Um, so to make it easier for you to, to tweak and configure that. So here we see the, the system property that's being set. Um, previously we had put in 3000 as the available and it actually detected that that wasn't an optimal setting. So that's why we see 1200 here and 600 here. 
um, system properties for the GC threads, uh, max thread pool size, and again the, the heap size and uh, GC threads again. So the reason why they're duplicated is because uh, one set is for the uh, cluster configuration and then the other is for the the server instance. So if you want to override the cluster configuration settings, you could do that easily by just tweaking the one that's in the the uh, server element. So you would see that in the domain data XML. And so if you're happy with these changes, go ahead and click on the confirm button and then the changes will be applied and the domain.xml, the original one, is um, made, made a backup and under the config tuner directory. And all you need to do now is to restart your cluster and the changes will be taken effect.